Our story starts with Kaoni, a 16-year-old kid from Hawaii. Every day, Kaoni wakes up before sunrise, grabs his board, and heads down to the beach to catch some waves before school. Not only is he a great surfer, but he spends his weekends training to be a lifeguard. Being a lifeguard is the perfect mix of his love for his community and his love for the ocean. After surfing, Kaoni heads off to start his week at his regular public school. For four days a week, Kaoni learns all the standards-based content he needs, but he learns it in a very traditional, teacher-centered way. Then on Friday, something different happens. Instead of going to his regular public school like usual, he packs up all the learning he has done and brings it with him to his community's Moonshot Laboratory for his 20% time. When he gets there, he checks the list of workshops available for the day. He finds one that looks interesting and heads over to the design lab to work with a local drone expert from a company in town. The expert teaches the Moonshot students a little about the science and engineering behind drones and then facilitates them through a design sprint for them to come up with ways UAVs could be used to improve the quality of life for people in their community. This is when Kaoni has a big idea. When he trains to be a lifeguard, he learns that every second counts. Depending on how far away a swimmer in distress is and how strong the currents are, it could take a long time to swim out there to help. Kaoni wonders if there's a way to use drones to decrease the amount of time it takes to get aid to a swimmer who needs help. So in the afternoon, he meets up with a group of community lifeguards that have partnered with the Moonshot Laboratory. Together, they work to figure out ways lifeguards could use drones and what kind of device they could deliver to swimmers in distress to help keep them afloat until the lifeguard is able to get out to them. After the meeting, he heads back to the Moonshot Laboratory, where he has access to all the tools, textiles, design software, laser cutters, 3D printers, and everything else he needs to make his prototype as well as on-staff local experts to help him build it. Once he is done building his prototype, he brings it out to the beach to test it. But things don't go as planned. It just wasn't accurate enough, quick enough to get out to the swimmer. Also a big problem was that even if he was able to get it to work, there would need to be two lifeguards there, one to operate the drone and one to rescue the swimmer. And Kaoni knew that just wasn't going to happen. Most people would just give up after failing so many times, but not Kaoni. At the Moonshot Laboratory, students are taught how to learn from their mistakes and to fail forward. This design just wasn't going to work out. He needed a breakthrough technology to make the prototype better, so he got to work. Kaoni decided he needed some help, so he did a search through the global network of experts and professionals that have partnered with Moonshot Laboratories around the country. He found a UAV expert in Kansas and spoke to him over video chat. The expert told him some moonshot laboratory kids in Kansas were working on ways to use UAVs and GPS technology to do 3D disaster mapping of areas hit by tornadoes. This is when Keone had another big idea. This past summer, he traveled to San Francisco to present his last project at the student-led Moonshot Summit. While there, he also attended a workshop hosted by a student from East Palo Alto named Sophia. Sophia was working with a group of Stanford graduate assistants on a cool new app. The app would allow parents to use GPS to quickly locate where their kids were, as well as get real-time health and wellness updates through the kids' smartwatch. This helped parents to make sure their child wasn't lost, sick, or in trouble. So Keone pinged Sophia to ask her to be on his Moonshot project team. She was excited to help out with such a cool idea. Now it was back to the Moonshot laboratory to build version 2.0. After a few more weeks with his new project team, he was ready to test another prototype. One of Keone's friends swims out into the ocean with Sophia's app loaded on his smartwatch. His friend taps the help button on his watch and his location and vital signs are sent automatically to Kaoni's smartphone. Kaoni taps the rescue button and the UAV roars to life. It lifts off on its own and automatically finds his friend in the water using his GPS location and gently drops the flotation device next to him. This all happens in a fraction of the time it would have taken for Kaoni to swim out. Kaoni's moonshot project is a success. This just goes to show that when students collaborate with experts, are supported by community partnerships, 
can work together to take charge of their own education, their big ideas can become a reality. The Moonshot Laboratory, a place where kids don't just build moonshots, they become moonshots. <laughs>